Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Letter Scene. My name is Lucy, I'm from Hunting for George and today I have a very beachy retreat for you. I am in Noosa, I am metres from Little Cove and this home, Noah by the Beach, actually backs onto the National Park. So it really is a natural beauty. Let's go check it out. of this home is a very high contrast white. There's actually not a traditional front door to this home. In fact, there's multiple entry points. So this is essentially our front entrance and you're greeted by these custom vertical battens which really open up this space. You've got your board rack over here at the ready, which you need, you're very close to Little Cove, plus the storage for all your beach equipment. <sighs> what do you reckon, time to go inside? Okay, so I'm going to go and open up the rest of these front sliding doors. In fact, I love the way those open up and you're going to start to see a lot of that. This house really does open itself up to the outside. So moving through here, you're straight into the living area. You've got this timber bench which wraps around this corner way. And this is also interesting as well, these screens. So you can have a little sneaky peek into another living area. That's for the kids, we'll get there later. But this is the showstopper. I mean, it's such a beautiful, cozy space. There's a very natural color palette in this home and the interior design is very scrumptious. You're gonna see a lot of timber, rattan, hemp, wool, uh, but it's also grounded by a lot of the cooler tones like this polished gray concrete. And also there's lots of gray and other black textures as well to kind of pull it back, so to speak. Now, this is a multi-level area and it used to actually, this was actually a renovation. So they've actually done a really great job to make these spaces work. I wanna draw your attention though, to this very clever dining bench. So what I love about this is that they've created this custom oak joinery. So it extends from the living into the dining. It's a lovely separation, but they've really made use of the fact that you are looking out onto the national park. So you can sit here with your coffee and have a view in the morning or you can have the most epic dinner party to end all dinner parties. I mean, the size of that dining table is sensational and I really like the way these soft, beautiful pendants are kind of draping down and creating a focal point around that space. And while I'm looking up, can you see these uh, timber exposed beams? These are throughout, but up top, they've actually painted those white, but a few of them, they've actually kept the original texture. And I like the fact that they've kept these because they really center and frame this view incredibly well. Speaking of view, let's open this up. Oh, so you can see outside to that deck area. I'm gonna take you there soon enough, but first let's check out the kitchen. Now, I have spent some time in this kitchen and this is a really functional layout and just a really great proportion. There is so much space. And again, I love the color palette in here. What I wanna talk about is this panel detail that they've done all over this cabinetry. And it just adds that sense of beach nature to it. Plus over here, this is a lovely detail as well in the cabinetry here. Instead of extending the full height, they've actually just matched it. So it literally is eye line with the rest of the uh, paneling, which I thought was a lovely, lovely touch. So in here, we've obviously got things like your pantry. There's plenty of storage. And I love this beautiful Norman Copenhagen 
bell lamp. That really does kind of draw your attention. And I like the fact that there's only one of them and it's slightly off center as well. I like that irregularity. All right, I am gonna take you upstairs now. We're gonna be checking out the master suite. step up into the master and this has just got a beautiful feeling up here. We're greeted by a lovely Carla Fletcher as soon as we come into this space. A little reading nook there and that's a nice aspect as well out to the front of the home. But come on through. A beautiful view out to the National Park. So we've got a very long ensuite. It's got this lovely warm terrazzo tile, which I love, and they've brought it up halfway, uh, just on one side, mind you, which it kind of needs because it is quite a long room. So you do need to be able to anchor and sort of focus your attention somewhere. Great details with these exposed timber beams um, in the shower and here over this bath. It is a beautiful sized bath. I feel like I'm, I don't really want, I feel, oh, okay, I'll get in it. <laughs> you know me, I love a good test. Oh my goodness. Although I'm actually the wrong way around. I should be facing this way. It's almost a shame that that's a frosted window. They may have had to have done that for planning restrictions, because it would have been nice to have more of an aspect out to the National Park, but don't worry. You can still get to see plenty of views. In here, we've got a walk-in row and more cabinetry. So, let's go back downstairs. your step. We've essentially got a U-shaped house. I'm going to take you down the left side. So through here we have got a bedroom. A very simple and natural colour palette. Again, this is consistent throughout the home. bathroom. So this is similar to what we saw in that master ensuite, except the warm terrazzo tile is just used in the shower. Um, a really great size in here and I just, I just love the feeling. It is incredibly warm, even though there are so many, you know, lovely cool tones as well. There's a beautiful skylight bringing a lot of light in. Open this door up. It essentially acts as an ensuite to this bedroom. These can actually open up, letting a beautiful amount of light and airflow into this bedroom, which I think this is probably one of my favorite bedrooms as well, because you have a beautiful aspect to the pool and the national park. Plus I also just liked this really um, lovely curved joinery detail. It's just those little 
pockets of detail. They have not shied away from them. They've really thought about their joinery and all of their storage throughout. So I'm gonna get these lining doors open to the outside. Ooh, beautiful. This is a really great area and a wonderful use of space and this was something that was very important to the owners because they wanted to make sure they had an outdoor entertaining space which they could use all year round. So a huge barbecue, a huge table, but we've got fans here so we've got ventilation for the summer and those hotter months but we've also got heaters here as well so you really can be here in winter not to mention we've got a fireplace as well so further ambience in those winter months although I live in Melbourne I don't think it gets that cold here in winter <laughs> can look out onto the pool. That is a beautiful pool. I'll take you down there later. But I like the fact that they've created this additional living space here as well because when the fans are going, it's a lovely area to be in. You're completely shaded. You're so undercover. And it's just, I mean, listen to it. They're just beautiful sounds from the National Park. I'm gonna get a this. I may or may not have swung in this for quite some time. <laughs> yesterday. It really is just the most magical spot to be. Oh, I could easily stay in that all day, but well aware, got a home tour to do. So let's go check out this pool. To you. Watch your step. A smaller pool, but it's incredibly deep. So it's a wonderful kind of plunge pool that you've got here so you can cool off. Uh, decking area, which has the storage, which is great for all of your pool equipment. And if we can continue down here, check out the laundry. So here we've got the laundry. This was a renovation so this was always here so they've really kind of maximised this space. we've got a guest room. So this actually used to be the kids game room previously, um, but the new owners decided to turn this into a guest room, which I love because it's actually got its own entry point because you can get to the front entrance. And through here, it's an ensuite. Very consistent, that warm terrace. So I like the way they've wrapped this over this ledge detail. It's a very generous size and look, I'd be very happy to be a guest in this room. So this is your neighbour, the National Park. But take a look at that. of the home to check out. So let's get upstairs. Okay, so we haven't even finished yet. <laughs> There's more to see, come this way. 
So here we have another bedroom through here. I must admit, I really like the feeling in this bedroom. I love the way they've kept the uh, exposed timber beams, again, the vertical ones, but they've painted out those uh, roof line ones to really open up the space. I just really love the aspect. It's kind of like a party bedroom. I guess it would be a bit noisier if you were a quite an active family. Um, but yeah, I really like the aspect and the way it's surrounded by this greenery. Lovely detail as well with the joinery. And welcome to Kids Territory. I love these bunk beds. They are just so, so good. Again, the curved detail here, it's just subtle little details in the design. We've also got this underbed storage so you can put your books and toys, all things like that. Um, and I just, it has a lovely feeling. I like the way they've got the books on display. Oh, I just, being a kid in this room, I think you'd be very happy. We've got another bathroom through there. Again, consistent with the colour palette. So this is, I guess, our kids' living area and we got to see a peek of this from the main living space. I'm gonna open these up. So wonderful how those bifolds open this home completely up to the front. You've got this extension of the lawn area. This is the kids space as well. You've got your outdoor shower out here and just plenty of seating. Not just that, storage as well. They really just have thought about maximizing their storage, which I love. It very much is a great home for families, but I said there were multiple entry points, so this is also another front entry. Come on through. That was thirsty work. <laughs> so I'm gonna get myself a drink and then I wanna sit down and chat through this home with you in more detail. This home, Noah by the Beach, could also be called Noah by the Park because it quite literally borders the Noosa National Park and it is moments away from Little Cove. So it's a very enviable location. And this area itself has just got so much natural beauty. You are just surrounded by wonderful wildlife. The previous home had these different multi levels, so that was something they needed to resolve. And the team behind this design was actually Georgina Price Design, and it was a collaborative effort as well with the interior designer, Bindi Ward. It completely opens up to the outside. You saw those amazing sliding doors from the front entrance, leading you into this living area. But not only that, those vertical custom battens, those incredible white custom battens out the front. I'm sitting here and I can see through into the living area, screened by those wooden shutters. You can open those bifold doors completely up to the front and I love the way that just kind of that living area just rolls on in into the front lawn. It's an incredible extension and fantastic for kids. The sliding doors that open you up to the rear of the building that takes you out onto the outdoor deck and that is just a beautiful area and one that as I said in the walkthrough you know the owner 
know, really wanted to harness that idea of all year round entertaining outside. So it is undercover, it is prepared for all seasons. And I love it when I see homes that really maximize outdoor spaces because they are great spaces to interact and to live. And especially in Noosa, it gets so hot here. So I can only imagine that you probably wanna spend a lot of your cooking time in the summer outside. When it comes to dining inside though, we saw that very generous timber table, which has that very clever custom joinery detail with that long bench seat. So the original exposed timber beams, those three vertical, very strong beams, really frame that view incredibly well. And I love the fact that they chose to keep those the original timber. The thing that does it for me in this home is also the really clever details in the joinery. We saw in the kitchen that VJ paneling all across that cabinetry, but the way that actually brought that into those full height cabinets, but they've only chosen to bring it up to the exact same level that it ran on the island bench and the rest of that L shape. I just think little details like that is what really makes interiors sing. That big, bold bell lamp hanging over the island bench is just superb. I love that it's not dead center. It just sort of creates a bit of irregularity and it's not too predictable, which I think sometimes you can get if you try and be too perfect and too centered all the time. The interiors in this living space are to die for. They are just so warm and cozy. There's so many beautiful warm natural timbers and I actually asked the owner what her you know one of her favorite elements of the home was and she actually mentioned the beautiful Hannah Nolan artwork which is hanging uh, central over that fireplace in this living space uh, she just sort of brought it all together and I must say that does bring a lovely sense of grounding to this space with this beautiful kind of deep rich navy tone but the rest of it is such a lovely soft color palette, it really does reflect the landscape of Noosa Heads. Speaking of artwork, there's lots of beautiful artwork as well from the likes of Carla Fletcher we saw upstairs in the master suite. That is just the most beautiful piece. You've got your sitting area to the right, you know, a little bit of a reading nook and a very generous bathroom with custom joinery and that huge extension of that ensuite. What I really liked most about that is that it was a space that existed before so they had to resolve that in terms of their interior design. And, and I think the way that they've resolved uh, just the sheer length of that room is by bringing that terrazzo feature tile up halfway, but only on one side to just kind of anchor it, you know, and draw your attention to one side of the room. Uh, otherwise it could have felt a little bit too busy because it is quite an extensive space. This home can fit a lot of people. There are a lot of great bedrooms and bathrooms everywhere on every single level and not to mention that awesome kids room as well with that beautiful bunk bed and just really clever storage as well. I just love that this home really plays to that. It is for an active family. There's so much joinery, there's so much storage and it even has the inclusion of that downstairs guest room which can kind of just be its own granny flat because you do have access to the front. So if you needed to, it could be its own separate unit. So I spoke a lot about how this home actually opens itself up, you know, to the outside. You can open up all of the doors. It feels very open and free to the environment, but it's also incredibly private because I must admit, if you're out on that deck, you know, above the pool area, you can't see anything. You can't see your neighbors. You can't see what's going on in the front street. It really is quite secluded. So. That's quite a feat in itself to make a home feel so incredibly open whilst at the same time maintaining its privacy. The U-shaped design obviously helps to that. That was its original layout, but they have extended that with that outdoor dining area as well, which I haven't even mentioned the pool. That pool is awesome. It's a really good size. It's not a huge pool, but I've got to admit, it's probably one of the deepest pools I've ever been in. So I like the fact that what they haven't been able to do in width, they've done in depth. Now I've actually been lucky enough to spend some time in this home. So I've really been able to get an idea of this space. And I've got to admit, it's incredibly comfortable. Like whilst it's just been beautifully styled and put together, there's just so much 
interactiveness and welcoming textures and surfaces and spaces, it just allows you to be. And you really do feel like you've kind of come home and that you can actually relax. And ultimately, that is exactly what you want a home to be. So Noah by the Beach, it really is a natural beauty, both in its unique design and its surroundings. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what you thought of this home tour. Leave me a comment below and make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube because we've got plenty more home tours coming your way.